Hello. I'm going to be upgrading the memory on this all-in-one HP computer. Um, it's right now uh, four RANs and I'm upgrading it to eight. Here's the extra memory card. It's a smaller version screen. You don't have to remove the screen for this one. Um, the only tool you're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver. And the first thing we're going to do is remove the stand. You do that with the Phillips head. There's two screws. Also, you want to make sure that Nothing is plugged in and handle it very delicately. So we flip it over. Nothing's plugged in, it's not on. And the two screws are right on the bottom. Do you loosen it with the screwdriver? I find it easier just spinning it with my hand. And then this is the size of screws, a decent size. All right. Oops. That was easy. That's the stand. Comes right off. And then you can set that aside with the screws. Okay. That's what it looks like. Next, that screw in the middle down there that you see. Yeah, the next one we unscrew. This is a much smaller screw. It's tiny. It's a very, very tiny screw. It's useful to use a magnetic tipped uh, Phillips head because it could, you know, it's easier to grab from that little area. You don't have to, but you could always tip this computer over and just drop the screw out, but it's handy. The next step is a little tricky. Now you have to pry the back of this computer off. You have to start from the top and then you have to pry the left side off and then the right. So you can use like little gizmos to help separate it or a guitar, a guitar pick. So you can just run that Delicate. you doing that? And then I'll do the same and move on to the right side. You can see how 
the gap is opening. And just be delicate and take your time with it. This little tool with just like a, it's a little lip on it, a little plastic lip. You can see it start to come off on the top. And on the right side, you can see it on the bottom. And now I'm just going to do the same thing on the left side. I'm just going to run this down. It helps separate it but very, very gently. You can, can't stress enough. Just take your good old time. All right, this is all. All the way around. It's been separated. All right, it's completely separated. Here's the back of the all-in-one. It's completely separated from the front all the way around. And you'll be able to fill that gap all the way. And just remember always the top first, and then the left, and then the right. And now we're going to very, very, very slowly and delicately lift up the back. Make sure you're also on a very soft surface. I'm actually doing this on a bed and then with a blanket. And there's wires inside that are attached from the front to the back and cabling, and you don't want to separate that. So just very slowly, delicately. And then just lay it down. Okay, so it is opened. All right. All right. It's opened. This is the front, the screen inside of it. And this is the inside of the back. So the next step is you want to get the static electricity out of your body. So tap this cage, your hands. All right. So here's the four gigabyte uh, memory card. You're going to pull the sides out, these two sides, and it'll pop out the memory card. And what I'm going to do next is put the eight, you know, replace it with this eight gigabyte memory card. So it'll pop open, but I'm going to uh, put down the camera since I need two hands for this. All right. I pulled apart the two metal sides, the two clips on either side holding it together, and it just popped right out. 45 degree angle and then just carefully remove that okay and you see how it matches the 8 gigabyte and that's how I'm going to set in this new one okay. 
I am going to put it in the same way the other one was set. But that hole is going to set in in that spot. And I'm going to need two hands for that. But I will be back when it is done. And right here I slipped it in in a 45 degree angle. Click it in Just carefully, and these metal clips on either side are holding it together. And it is pushed down flat. And see, so it lines up here. Don't touch the gold, the gold edges. So be very careful and just use top to do that and carefully slide it in. All right, now that it has been replaced, um, the four gigabyte with the eight gigabyte memory, I'm going to just reverse the order and slowly lift that back onto the front. Again, very careful and I am going to use two hands for this. So you remember how we opened it? I'm going to use two hands and carefully just bring that back and lightly lay it on the front. All right, I laid it down, matching all around. And now you're going to clamp the computer back on the back onto the front. And you just squeeze all the way around. And you'll hear it clicking together. All right. And just make sure it's all sealed. Um, you know, there's normally a gap up here, so it's still sealed. Even if you see that gap, that's where we first took it apart. You can squeeze it, and you can tell when it's, you know, there's no space. And you're good, and you heard it click. Now, we are going to screw that tiny little screw into that hole right there. It's useful, helpful to use magnetic tipped Phillips head. And it's a really small screwdriver. And really small, I'm sorry, screw. <laughs> it didn't take too many turns of the Phillips head to get the screw in. Next, we are going to be putting the foot in. Again, these are larger screws. And you will, the screws are going to end up going into those two holes. And then you just hook the foot onto this to hold. You can push you to the edge of your soft surface so that the feet can hang down. All right. If you notice the curvature, it's like an arch going up, will match then the curvature of the foot. So you know it goes in that direction. And you're gonna just fit it in. Okay, with these screws again, I just um, do most of the fastening just with my fingers, it goes quicker than with the Phillips head. And then when I'm close to done, I'll finish it off. And congratulations, voila, you upgraded your memory on your HP all in one. It'll move uh, a little quicker now. Well, thanks for watching.